Hey, what's up guys? Um, probably gonna make a quick video tonight, uh, part three on this uh, utility trailer. I was planning on spending the whole evening working on it, but I've got a few more things to do tonight. Um, I shot a, a deer yesterday with my bow, so I need to do some processing tonight. Um, I can't put that off. I can put this trailer off for another day, so um, I'm going to do a couple things and I'll, sh I'll show you here. Okay, the main thing I'm going to do tonight, since I don't have a whole lot of time, is uh, this, uh, it's more aesthetic than anything. It's, um, it's just this piece, I'm going to cut a triangular piece to fit right over all this mess. And then if you guys watched the other videos, you know what, what this is all about. So I just want to cover that up, it's not very attractive. Um, cover it up with some diamond plate, I'll show you here in a second, I got a scrap. And then uh, later, in a later video, I'm going to weld a uh, bolt right in the middle. And then probably weld some half-inch rod on the nut to kind of just like a wing, wing defect on the nut so I can tighten it down for a uh, spare tire. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to do also one more thing, but probably not video it because it's something that uh, is really not relevant probably to most people. I'm planning on buying some new wheels and tires for this thing, but just not right now. Uh, so, uh, this one particular tire, these are some old tires, these might even be the originals, um, I really don't know, but um, this one tire is constantly getting flat, and like I said, I don't want to spend $160, $175 right now on, two, on a pair of wheels and tires, so I just got some uh, green uh, goo, the stuff they sell to fix... Uh, weathered cracks and stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that it's getting kinda dark so hopefully I can get this piece cut and weld it on there so you guys can get a feel for what it looks like but I need to finish this project pretty soon cuz it's just sitting out here it's not painted so it's just rusting up a bit and I need to I need to go ahead and get it finished and painted but uh, yeah like I said this video should be pretty short just probably just me cutting this and then tomorrow I've got a free evening, so I'll probably uh, try to cut some of these uprights uh, down through here and maybe get this top rail on. And then uh, that's that's almost, that's pretty much it after that. Uh, yep, so I'll go ahead and get that cut and show you guys what it looks like. I brought, I brought uh, quite a bit of metal back, just scrap pieces that we had laying around. So this is kind of what I got, this is a big old piece of forge angle like 10 foot long some more uh, inch tubing or inch square tubing some bits of angle there and there's that piece of diamond plate I'm gonna cut up and this is some stuff my dad brought back from a hunting trip in uh, Clinton Oklahoma here recently it looks like a, like a single bit plow and then just some old seat like a hell I don't know I don't even know what it's, I mean it could have been for or a plow I guess you sit on the plow or it could have been for anything I really don't know but uh, it's just a piece of something so but I'm gonna cut that seed off and probably build something out of it but uh yep so all right it's getting real dark on me uh, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and roll this short clip these short clips into the video I'm gonna make tomorrow uh, but I, I went ahead and laid this metal out and I'll show you guys it real quick all right it's getting super dark outside so I'm just gonna. I went ahead and brought it in here. I don't have a whole lot of room in here to work, but it is what it is. So uh, this is what I got. I got it laid out. You can see uh, my my marks there. Um, I tried to utilize this piece as much as I could. It's kind of a funky looking piece that we weren't gonna be able to use for anything else, anyways, hardly. So uh, it worked perfect for me. So um, all I have here today is are these a uh, few grinders so I got some grinding wheels or cut off wheels sorry uh, cut off wheels and we used to cut it off um, we have a quickie saw at the shop but it's at the shop and I'm at the house so I'll just make do with what I got for tonight but yeah I'll go ahead and get this cut and uh, I guess I'll just roll these clips into uh, the video I'm going to be making tomorrow so
spot here. Uh, I got it cut. Um, took a little while with the cutting wheels on the grinder, but it is what it is. So I got it. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to uh, go around it with a grinder and clean up the edges a little bit. Got my lines fairly straight. You know, I'm not super proud of them, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit, and then I'll... Uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow when I get it welded on there. All right, I'm back at it again today, guys. Uh, I just got done um, packing these axles with some grease, so uh, you guys missed that, but that's not really that exciting or interesting at all. So um, today, what I'm planning on doing, what I'm planning on doing, I got this thing cut out last night, like I said I would. Uh, I'm going to get it welded up in place and I'm going to scoot this axle forward, uh, try to get it pretty close to the center of the trailer just to kind of uh, equalize the load, make it easier to uh, move around by hand too by doing that. Uh, so I'm going to try to get those two things done and see how far how quick I can get that done and then I'm going to possibly start welding in some of these uprights in here to get the uh, top rails done or the, get the top rail in also so uh, we'll just see how far I get um, ideally I'm not at the shop today I have everything back at the house so ideally you wouldn't be welding right here in this grass so I'm going to attempt to try not to create too big of a grass fire today so I'll get everything uh, drug out here and see what we can get done. Okay, that's all done. It's not going anywhere now, I don't think. Uh, see if you, yep. Yeah. I'm thinking about um, possibly, well, let me check, make sure again. Yep, I'm thinking about possibly uh, cutting this inch and a half angle right here. I'm cutting one to fit um, just for aesthetic purposes. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, mainly just because there's this gap here. I don't know if you guys remember in part one, uh, the front tongue of this trailer was angled down. So to make this bed level, I actually had to pick this front part of this up so I have this gap here. I got a shim kind of welded in here right here. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna cut a piece just to kind of cover that up. I think that'll look good. Uh, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that real fast. Alright, I got that piece cut. Go ahead and throw my hood on here. This piece right here, trying to level it up a little bit. 
Now this isn't ideal obviously, I'm just kind of working with what I got so I figured that this is going to look the best for what I got. I'm going to go ahead and lay this out so my welds look somewhat even. Why that wasn't not welding very good is because it wasn't hot enough. Should just build a weld right over the top of that. Got that welded on there. Now I'm going to take the wire wheel to it and clean it up and move on to moving the axle, I guess. I changed my mind. Rather than moving this axle tonight, I want to go ahead and focus on getting the uprights in. So I'll show you what I've got. Basically, I've got uh, I've got them all like, kind of laid out here. You can see my little marks there. Uh, these are going to be the uprights. For this top rail, when the top rail comes through, the top rail sit like this along along top of all these uprights. So I got these laid out. I got I got a square. I'm gonna square them up and uh, get those welded on there. This front corner piece is actually going to be setting in here like that. If you can see that, and this back piece, I'm going to uh, notch out notch out so I'll cut this I'll cut this uh, corner or this uh, here now it's hard to do this just one-handed I'll cut uh, notch this out right here and it's gonna sit flush just like this so it'll kind of be a, it'll kind of be finned out just like that and that is mainly for uh, I'm probably gonna weld in an inch and a half channel in there to drop a uh, 2 by 12 in there as like a tailgate so um, that's that like I said I'm gonna go ahead and get these in in uh, tacked up there and then I'll show you after I get some progress done on it all right I got a few welded on there now you can kind of get the gist of it uh, so yeah I just wanted to show you should kind of show you midway I'm gonna go ahead and get these corners welded on the front ones and then this side and then uh, I'll pick back up whenever I notch these things out, these uh, end ones. So, you know, I was just thinking I might not even notch, notch the ends. Well, yeah, I kind of I really need to if I'm gonna want to put a two by twelve in there as a tailgate at some point. So, but yeah, I'll go ahead and get the rest of them welded up and get back with you. All right, now you can kind of see what I got going. 
I run out of uh, uprights, I'm gonna have to cut a few more. I have one, two, three more to cut. And uh, so I'll just uh, weld that one up. Show you guys how I'm gonna notch this one out over here. And then maybe get a video of me watch of me welding those two end ones up. These ones are pretty simple. Just two welds on both sides. All I did was lay it out. And then I threw my uh, uh, square right there just to square them, square them up. Make them look nice and straight. So it's looking pretty good so far. So let me go ahead and cut those other ones out. And then I'll show you uh, me marking these two out right here. Okay, I'll show you guys what I got going now. I got these marks. Wait for it to focus. Is it focused? Yep, there we go. Okay, I got these marks. Basically, I'm going to cut that piece. is going to cut out. And it will just fit right over. So it will actually kind of hang out just a little bit like that. Past the... Uh... Hey, it's just not focusing very well. But hopefully you guys get the gist of it. It will be the top and bottom. We'll both knock out. And... Uh... You know, I'm still just kind of trying to figure this out as I go, so I'm probably going to fuck this up somehow, so. But, I'll get them cut, and we'll see how it turns out. Alright, so the uh, notching wasn't as hard as uh, difficult as I thought it would be. I just did it all on the uh, chop, saw, chop saw. But, uh, there's that notched piece. Let's see if I can get to zoom. There's that notched piece, and that top piece will run in just like that, like through there. And I actually think it's going to be like, what is this, 3 sixteenths or quarter, uh, quarter shorter than it should have been, I think, if I'm doing my math right, but that's okay, it'll just bend down just a little bit in the back, the top, the top piece, but, so yeah, I mean, it turned out good, so I'm going to go ahead and get those welded in, squared up, and then, uh, Get back to you. Get back to you. I might even try to get the top rails on. And if I get the top rails on, then uh, there's just a few more little odds and ends, and then we'll be done. We'll be ready to sand or you know wire wire brush it down and sandblast it, if, what I can, and then paint it. So let me go ahead and get these welded in. All right, I got them welded up. That's all the uprights. Uh, so they look fairly straight down through there. The last thing. Like I said, the last thing was just this top rail. And then, uh, there's, like I said, there's a few more little things I need to do. I need to weld a, uh, a, uh, angle right here for the board to slip into, the board, uh, the decking boards. I'll do that. Um, I don't know if, hell, I might just do it tonight. I mean, and then I have another little uh, piece of metal I have to weld right here for my uh, ramps to hook onto. So, there's those few little things, and then I gotta move this axle, and then, uh, and then it'll be done for welding, and then I, I just have to finish painting it and stuff, and be good to go. So, I still have some daylight left, I'm gonna see if I can cut these top rails on, and then, uh, that'll be it. So, let's see if I can get these laid out. other things in the house but uh i'll show you where i got the two side rails put on and it's really starting to look like a trailer now so uh let me flip this around all right that's the two sides could just cut i don't have them welded in yet so next time i might be able to get to work on this will be in a few days so i'll save this front piece right here for then and then those last few pieces i've already mentioned and then I move this axle in that next video and then that'll be done so I guess what's this part three I think so there'll be a part four for part four I'll be finished with welding and then uh, part five I'll do the paint and hopefully by then I already have the wheels and stuff bought so then it'll be a finished trailer so all right I'm gonna go ahead and get that welded up uh, I won't share that with you guys and next time you'll get to see what progress I made so uh, if you guys could like the video, that would be, that would be really helpful. Like and uh, favorite and, you know, subscribe if you guys want to see the rest of the uh, project. 
and hopefully I'll have some more projects soon, soon enough, and, and maybe I'll get some more videos made, so thanks for watching.